best. When he gave his only begotten son, he made an investment into the earth. Glory to God. And said that if, if any man, amen, hearken into his voice and hear his voice, then he said, I will come in. He said, and I will sup with them and he with them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. You see, the bread was made from the first ripe fruit. It was made from the first ripe grains. Hallelujah. It was made from those things. Hallelujah. That, that we do not understand how it was made. We don't understand who, who, who made it, who prepared it. But we thank God. Hallelujah. That God is a preparer. Glory. You may have little or you may have much. We went to the grocery store the other night, other day, and all the meats were gone. But we know the God that made the meats. We know that God knows how to make what, whatever that is before us. He knows how to multiply because we trust God. Hallelujah. We believe in the God of our salvation. We believe that God is able to take a little bit and he's able to make a lot. But we got to make him first fruit. Glory to God. You see, the, the bread was made from the ripe fruit. It was made from the ripe grain. Glory to God. It was the first of the harvest. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 and 22 to 23. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It says, and, 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 it says, for as in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. You see, in Adam, everybody died. Death was over their heads. But in Christ, everybody is made alive because we are walking in the newness of life. Because we have tasted and seen the first fruit of God's harvest. We have tasted and seen the only begotten of God. We have tasted and seen that this is God's be only begotten that came into the world. Hallelujah. For those that have tasted and see that God is good. Amen. We want the whole world to understand that God is alive and that he's, that he's living and breathing on the inside of us. He's able to make a difference in our life. In the 23rd verse of 1 Corinthians 15 and 23, it says, but every man of his own order, Christ, is the first fruit where after that they that are in Christ at his coming that Christ is the first fruit God gave his only begotten son even though he loved his son he invested him into the earth to reap a harvest in the earth and you 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 and you are a product of that harvest glory to God because you are alive somebody prayed for you Somebody sought you. Somebody sees you. And they're praying for you. But well, you don't think people are praying for you. We are praying for you. We are seeking God for you. Because you don't know. You may not know how to pray. But I want you to know that we are praying for you. I want you to know that God loves you. Because we were where you are once in our life. And we understand the struggle of sin. We understand how sin can make you depressed. We understand how sin can oppress you. But we serve the God that knows how to pull you out of that depressed state and lift you into his kingdom, the kingdom of his dear son. So we got to know that God is with us. We got to know that we serve the first fruit of God's righteousness, that we can turn to him morning, noon, day, and night. That we can turn to him that he will make everything all right. That we can turn to him. That he will make the darkness flee. Glory to God. You see, when darkness is in the way, the Son of God comes on the scene. Regardless of what you may be going through, he knows how to bring the light to shine in darkness. So that darkness may flee. So that darkness will have no power in your life. So the darkness will have no institution in your life because the darkness comes to take over. But I want you to know that Jesus wants you to know that he is the light and in him there is no darkness. And we're walking in the light even as he is in the light. Even though we may not have gotten there yet, 
We are not perfect yet, but we serve a perfect God. And we seek him. Every day we're seeking him. Every day, glory to God. Because we want to be like him. Because we want to be more like him. We have not made perfection yet. But thank God we serve the God of perfection. That wants to come into our lives. Who has come into our lives. To create perfection on the inside of us. And we're walking every day. That he can perfect himself on the inside of us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He wants to perfect himself in us. Hallelujah. He's put his grace in the earth, glory to God, to, to draw us away from our shortcomings. He put his grace in the earth to draw us away from those things that bound us up, glory to God. We are living under grace, glory to God. But that grace is not that we may continue in sin, but the grace has given us the power to walk away from that sin. The grace gives us the power to walk away from that sin. The Bible says in Romans 6 and 1, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And Paul said, God forbid, how can we are not dead to sin? How can we live any longer therein? But because of the grace of God, it has given us the power, somebody said power, to walk beyond, hallelujah, the things that bound us up, the things that cause us heartache, the things that cause us distress, and then we're walking in the newness of God. But we got to learn how to give our first fruit unto him. We got to learn how to give ourselves to him. Hallelujah. As empty vessels waiting to be filled. Romans, Romans 12 and 1 says, Wherefore I beseech you, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a, a living sacrifice, a holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be, be not conformed to this world. You see, a lot of people are trying to be conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds in the second verse. We got to be transformed by the renewing of your minds. Glory to God. We come to church so that we can be renewed by the Spirit of God. We come to church so that God can renew us. We cannot renew ourselves. But it's the Spirit of God that renews us. Glory to God. Somebody said, I'm going to wait till I get myself ready to come back to church. You'll never get yourself ready. Glory to God. That's why we got to come just as we are. Because he is the one that prepares us to come. He is the one that prepares us. Glory to God. Glory to God. To ready us to meet the Father. He is the one that readies us to meet the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Spirit of God is the one that readies us to meet the King of Kings. Hallelujah. You know, in every land there is a, there's a feast of harvest. Hallelujah. In about 40 more days, we'll be celebrating Pentecost. Hallelujah. Which was the promise of the Holy Ghost, which came upon the apostles. And those that were in the upper room. Hallelujah. And that's where the church was born. Hallelujah. But we don't have to wait for a Pentecost. We don't have to wait. Hallelujah. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. He's given you another chance to come to him. He's given you another chance to say yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To know, hallelujah, that the bread is sufficient. The bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. Hallelujah. Regardless of how much those that come to him and eat of him, there is plenty to go around. He is the all-sufficient one. Hallelujah. See, this man who gave this bread, hallelujah, he was afraid because there was not enough. But I want you to know that we serve the God that is more than enough. Glory to God. And Elisha assured him that there was going to be enough. Glory to God. After all the gospels being preached across the land, hallelujah, there is still enough of the gospel.
to reach you. There's still enough of the gospel to change you. There's still enough of the gospel to meet every one of your needs. And not only your needs, but the needs of your family, the needs of your children, the needs of your family, the needs of those that are in your society. But that's why we got to pray for those that don't have any faith. We got to pray for those that can't see God. Hallelujah. Through all of this, we got to pray for them. That they don't lose their minds and start committing suicide. We got to pray, glory to God, that they will find the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords before it's all over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, hallelujah, the bread and water represent uh, poverty. But I want you to know that God is more than poverty. We got to look at what God provides as more than enough. The fool will look at what God provides as something that leads to poverty. But those that understand, amen, the richness of the kingdom, the richness of the kingdom and the word of God, we got to know that God is able, hallelujah, to take those things that were meant to be little, glory to God, what people are trampled upon. And he's able to take that thing and make you wealthy, to make you rich, to make you enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Therefore, we got to come to him just as we are because there's always, hallelujah, something left over. Glory to God. God save you. Glory to God. Because he, he sees ministry in you. He saved you because he sees purpose in you. Somebody say, I don't have a purpose. I don't have a purpose in the world. But when God comes into your life, he endows purpose on the inside of you. He endows strength on the inside. He endows an anointing. He don't just save you, but he gives you a purpose for living. And that's why there is a leftover because God has given you something that you can share with somebody else. He's given you something that you can share with your loved ones. He's given you something that you can share with your co-workers, with those that are hurt, those that are going through. Somebody had a bad night last night. They spent all night in the bottle or something. Glory to God. But God says, I love them. That's the person that I want to reach. That's the person that I want to. I want you to go out and seek after because that's the person that I died for. Remember, Hallelujah. That what God has given you, that is more than enough. That is more, hallelujah, than enough. Glory to God. Amen. When we, when we eat things, it only lasts for a moment. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the experience that we have with Christ, it lasts, hallelujah, always. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we taste and see that the Lord is good. Glory to God. We, we know, glory to God, that we have come, amen, into the presence of of the almighty God and that we have been changed hallelujah, hallelujah into his very image hallelujah won't you make a choice today to make Jesus the Lord of your life I want you to know that God loves you that God cares for you that he loves and Amen. And, and, and he don't want you to go through things that you're going through alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you're going to have some trouble. Hallelujah. The Job said man's born about a few days and those days are full of trouble. Glory to God. But Jesus said, I want to be with you in the midst of the trouble that you're going through. Glory to God. To tell you how to weather the storm. To tell you that, that you can make it. To tell you that you can be successful. I'm not going to ask you to come up to an altar today, but in the altar of your car, in the altar of your heart, if you don't know the Lord Jesus uh, as your Lord and Savior today, I want you to repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for being a sinner. Forgive me for turning my back on you. Forgive me for Wasting my time. Forgive me for, for wasting my, my first fruit on, on, on beggarly things, on, on things that have, have no avail. And now I give my life to you, Jesus. Jesus, come into my heart and become Lord of my life. Now I confess Jesus as being my Lord. And, my, and I turn my back on sin. And I walk toward 
you Jesus saying you are my Lord and my Savior now according to Romans 10 and 9 that if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead then I shall be saved in Jesus name thank you Lord for saving me thank you Lord for hearing my cry thank you for coming into my heart and being the Lord of my life. Glory to God in Jesus' name. And for those of you that have prayed that prayer, I want you, if you can see our website up here on the sign, I want you to send us a, a message that said, I receive the Lord Jesus being the Lord of my life. And I want to I want you to pray with me. I, I, I need this and I need I need prayer for this. But most of all, I need a place where I can call my home, my church home. And we want, we were going to pray for you. We will see God with you. That God will do something new and dynamic in your life. That God will do, that God will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. Glory to God, both in the spiritual realm and that in the natural realm. Glory to God. Because he wants... God loves you and he wants you to be saved more so than you want to be saved. But you gotta first make that first step. You gotta say yes to your yes, Lord, to your will. Yes, Lord, to your way. Yes, Lord, I want to obey your commandments. You say, Lord, I, I tried it my way, and my my way has failed. My way is failing. But I want you to try Jesus. Find a church home that believe in the power of God, that believe in deliverance, believe that, that know that Jesus is alive and that Jesus is well, that Jesus is moving by his power and by his might. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This Thursday, we're going to have international prayer on Zoom. If you do not have the link to Zoom, please uh, contact us through our website, hallelujah, and we can make sure that you get the link to Zoom, hallelujah, and glory to God, we just love you, we thank God for you coming out and being with us today, because God is moving by his power, God is delivering, God is setting free, God is making whole by his spirit, by his might, because God loves you beyond compare. God loves you beyond what you what you can muster up. God loves you beyond what people have, have said about you. People may have threw you in a garbage can. Your parents may have said you were a mistake, but God is saying you were not a mistake. God is saying I have purpose. I have kingdom in store for you. I have something beyond what you have conjured up. You might think that you're successful, but it's not. It is a success without God. And God wants to make you successful with him. God wants to make you successful in his kingdom. Amen. Your gifts and talents. Glory to God. Whether they be in the church. Or whether they be in the world. Or whether it be. Glory to God. Because the way your gifts and talents may be. Instrumental. But. You gotta let God work on your character because your gifts and talents, as the Bible says, will make room for you. But your character will help you to stay in the room. Your character will help you own the room. Your character will then demonstrate the nature of Christ. It's not about us, but it's about Christ. It's not about what we can do, but it's what Christ has done and what he is doing. But it's what Christ paid the price for our sins. It is what Christ has done that we may have a right to the tree of life. Thank you, my beloved. Thank you for listening to the word that I've spoken to you. Thank you for hearing Glory to God, hallelujah, the word that is spoken, 
And I pray that God has spoken to you to move closer to Him. To move closer to Him. Hallelujah. To move closer. Hallelujah. Form that revelation of understanding that God wants a relationship without, hallelujah, 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 without just coming to him. Have that revelation that God wants him to sup with you. The one thing that God desired in the Garden of Eden is that he, may, that he will meet with his man's servant. And he wants to meet with you in cool afternoons like it is today. He wants to meet with you. Are you willing to meet with him? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, everybody, for, for your prayers. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. We pray that, that heaven may smile upon you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for, for those, the praise and worship leaders. Hallelujah. Those that worked on the scene and behind the scenes to make all this possible. Pastor Ray, Brother Tidwell, Brother Maybe, Brother Ron, and the brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. That came out. Sister Flo. Hallelujah. Sister Karen, First Lady. Sandy, amen, Brother Ron, amen, oh, I mean, it made it all possible, amen, that we can minister to you, and those that don't do that, that may, may also be part of the glory to God, hallelujah, and we pray the blessings of God upon you, I love you, and I pray God will continually show his mercy upon you, amen, as we are, as we are about to close this part of the service, close this service, amen, and we hope to see you again next Sunday, amen, and we want you to uh, pay close attention to our website, glory to God, for future happenings, amen, we have, amen, our Wednesday night Bible study, glory to God, we want you to chime in on that, through band, amen, glory to God, there's a link on our website to band, glory to God, you can chime in to us, amen, we're looking for some dynamic, dy we're looking for a dynamic teacher to come on the scene, amen, on Wednesday night, glory to God, come on out, amen, on band, amen, and let the Lord bless you real good, amen, amen, come on, give the Lord a hand clap and a horn, 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 glory to God, hallelujah, amen, glory to God. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us fallen before his presence with unseemly joy to the only wise God be mercy, power, dominion, and his fault and forevermore. Father, we pray you will bless your people. Keep them, O oh God. Lord, through the storm and through the rain, God. Lord, let them know that you reign forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Keep them, O oh God, until we meet again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can I get a Shabbat in Jesus' name? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.